Okay, so I've assembled three different um, uh, supercapacitors from the graphite um, that I burned from the light scribe. So this one is, uh, they're both, these two are PVA, PVA, and this one is the uh, polyvinyl alcohol. This is polyvinyl acetate, which is just Elmer's glue. Um, both of them mixed with phosphoric acid at an 85% concentration. This one, um, you can see, is uh, taped up with Captain tape. Um, inside that is just a little square sheet of um, tissue paper that I soaked in um, phosphoric acid, which uh, I added a little bit water. So, with the percentage, with an 85% solution of phosphoric acid in the water that I added, turned out to be about I don't know 25% uh, phosphoric acid in that one. So, just uh, I taped together a bank of uh, batteries here, so I can charge these up and get a reading, so you can see. So. charge so then so that's showing about point Okay, I was getting a much better capacitance earlier than that. Let me try and charge it again. a little bit higher. I was getting about a 0.7 on that one earlier. Let's try this one. I was also getting about a 0.7 on this one earlier as well. Let's run down the row again. Okay, there we go. So now we're reading about a little over a volt on the uh, one with the uh, phosphoric acid and water with uh, just a little piece of tissue paper as the separator. So let's measure this one again. So I'm thinking this one should get up to about 0.7.
It's a little low. A little bit higher now. All right, let's try this one. So the polyvinyl acetate and the polyvinyl alcohol, um, from what I measured, were pretty much the same. So I think that uh, the Elmer's glue is definitely a viable option for the solid state capacitor. So as you can see, I didn't use any cap and tape on either of the solid state ones. And now both of these did not take as long as uh, five hours to dry or overnight. I was testing them uh, last night as well and I was getting the same readings, well actually higher. So yeah, I was getting much higher readings last night on the, both the solid state ones. So the wet cell one with the phosphoric acid seems to be the best one. I was getting about, you know, 1.2 volts um, consistently on that one after charging it. So there we go. That's closer to the readings I was getting last night. Try this one again. Oh, looks like it's not as good as uh, not holding a capacitance as much as it did last night. Um, both of all these little uh, tabs that I've got off of here, I painted them with uh, an electrically conductive paint that I got from uh, Radio Shack. Just as like a black paint. So just to make sure there's contact between the leads. Um, so that's about it. So I don't know. I still I don't know why what's going on. Th these two were definitely reading the same uh, capacitance the other night or last night, but uh, seems that this one's running slightly higher now. But anyways, um, so it looks like the wet cell performed best, um, but these ones are definitely uh, probably a little more durable no chance of leaking at all. Oh, you can see the graphene starting to peel off of this. Maybe that's why the contact wasn't as good on that one. Look at that. 
the uh, paint starting to peel the graphene right off. That probably had an effect. Here back here too. It's peeling the graphene right off. Well, that's the actual polymer gel. The graphene sticking to the gel and peeling it off the plastic. Look at that. So this is the Captain Tape one. Look at a little piece peeled off there. But yeah, this one definitely performed the best out of all of them. All these are just two centimeters by two centimeters, just so I could get, uh, you know, the same comparison. Um, so yeah, well, um, that's all I got for now. Thanks.